What's going on you guys? This is Antoine aka The Big Fella bringing you another video. I know this video is kind of late, but it was really hot today. I mean hotter than fish grease out this bad boy. So I wanted to wait till the sun went behind the trees over there so I could be sitting in the shade. So I can unbox this box for you guys. I got stuff hanging out the sides over here. It's pretty full and I think I almost broke my table uh, throwing it on there like that. But I want to go ahead and unbox this stuff for you guys. Show you what the winner of this month is going to be getting. Um... Without further ado, I, I do have some announcements, but we'll do that, uh, that at the end of this video. But just want to go ahead and go over everything in this box really quick so we can go ahead and get to a winner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, first thing we got is these Lighthouse Lords Mini Shads. It's a six-piece. Not sure what color they are. It's a color number 052. We got uh, Strike King Thunder Cricket in here. Giving that away. Got some stickies three uh three out offset worm hooks in there um a bill lewis sb57 crankbait little squirrel bill in the house sexy shack color looks like um, we have a team arc ts 115 floating uh looks like a top water walker kind of bait yeah yep top water sliders what they're calling it and then we have a Backfly Lures Spinnerbait. It's a weird looking uh, blade on that bad boy. Uh, what are they calling that blade? Uh, bah, 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 bah. I don't know. I don't see anything right off the back. If you want to read that, you can pause the video to read that right there. There you go. Uh, something else that fell out of the box is a uh, Menace Bakes Quarter Ounce Sexy Shad Swim Jig. You can, um, I'm sorry, this is the original jig. This is not the swim jig. Put your soft plastic on that bad boy, swim it, drag it. It's versatile, it's four wheel drive because you can Texas rig your own soft plastic on the back of that. If I can move the skirt out of the way, as you can see, it is a uh, EWG hook. You can Texas rig your bait on that, pull it through the lily pads, won't get stuck, four wheel drive like I said. Next thing we have is a Chase Baits Rip Snorter. A little underspin action going on. This is a herring color from what they say on the back. Sorry, I get caught up in the, the baits. Um, I put these in throughout the month and you know I kind of sort of forget about it until the box gets full to where I can't shut it. Then I unbox it and I, I'm like, oh yeah, I did put that in there. Uh, so sorry, I know I said it was going to be quick, but and you know I'm sitting here rambling and I'm making the video even longer, but we got a Team Arc CT5-7 crankbait in here. Sorry, we got some kids playing around in the background. I apologize about that. Uh, we got a Guggen Squad Grass Hero Swim Jig. And a, a Natural Shad Quarter Ounce Original Menace Jig. You can Texas rig on the back of uh, that as well. Some uh, Z-Man Boar Hogs and Bamboo Bug Color. Ooh, stuff's falling off the table. We got a Guggen Squad Mini Zinger Spinnerbait. Upside down. And we have a headbanger banger lizard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the pack because the bag is all blacked out so we can see what we got inside there. I don't smell any scent on these. Ooh, but that's what we got right here. That looks pretty cool. I'm giving that away. Sorry, let me put these back in here I was curious as to what they look like I mean yeah there's a little thing on the back but you can't be too sure with those things Ooh, I haven't um, forgot to put this in here too we got a headbanger rocker head throw any soft plastic on the back of that and then we have a Thunderhawk Lures square bill crankbait 7 16th uh, ounce almost a quarter ounce that eyeball looks pretty cool Oof. Sorry, y'all. So much stuff can't even stay on the table. Uh, now we have a Lucky Craft. Looks like a square build, square build crankbait. Got that. We also got another original Menace Jig in Okeechobee Crawl color. This is one of my favorite colors. And then we got some Z-Man Streaks in here. I've been into, uh, using these pretty heavy as of late. couple more baits and we're almost three guys 
We got a Callens Cat Stalker Jig, 3 8 ounce. That's a pretty cool color. Normally when you see black and blue, you see more black than blue. This one has a little more blue than black. So the, the old switcheroo on it. Um, and then we have a Euro Tackle Finesse Metacrawl. I think this came in this month's uh, Minutes Base box. I'm sorry, uh, Mystery Tackle box, not Minutes Base box. Black and blue. Then, of course, you get the Double Digest from this month. You get the Catch Code sticker, which looks pretty awesome. And then, some reading material. And then, what was inside the box, but, you know, this is probably like double the amount of what I put in there, but that is all that is in there now i gotta try to figure out how i got all the stuff back in the box uh, but i'll go ahead and do that off camera but uh, i need to go get my other phone and we'll go ahead and pick a winner to see who won all this stuff all right you guys i got everything pulled up right here and i got everything all programmed and stuff so all i gotta do is just hit that little white button right there and we're gonna find out who this month's winner is so without further ado let's go ahead and do that in three two one Congratulations, Shular, you just won the Big Fella box giveaway. This comment says the box you gave away was amazing. Well, guess what? You got this box this month. So do me a favor, shoot me an email over at bigfellaoutdoors at gmail.com so I can get your address from you and I'll go ahead and get that shipped out. For those of you that didn't win, don't worry. There's gonna be a giveaway just like this every single month. As a matter of fact, uh, tomorrow, July 1st, is gonna kick off July's contest. So go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I apologize, I'm looking at my phone right now. I'm trying to find the video that um, I have a giveaway in. I did a secret giveaway in one of my videos. You had to watch the video all the way through. Um, that giveaway is for the viewers that actually do do that. So if you do watch my videos all the way through, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I just gotta find the video. I'm giving away an Eternal Angler's Bait Binder. This thing has a bunch of little waterproof Ziploc bags that you put your soft plastics in. There's even some soft plastics included. So the winner's gonna get that. If you guys give me a few minutes, I will go ahead and find that video and uh, we'll go ahead and do the winner for that as well. All right, y'all, I found that video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, do that see who won the eternal anglers bait binder congratulations jamie breland you won the eternal anglers bait binder so we're giving away all kinds of stuff right here um, in this video so uh definitely uh, watch those videos in the future because i'm going to be doing these from time to time giving away little items like this this is a pretty good item you can actually uh, clip it on your backpack or tackle box or even clip it on your belt buckle if you'd like but um I think I'm going to be switching up the contest a little bit. I think I'm going to be doing, um, I still, I'm still in the brainstorming process of it. I'm thinking about getting the box together itself and then uh, doing the contest announcement and showing everything in that video. And then um, the beginning of the following month, uh, post the winner. Like, let me guys know what you think down there in the comment section. Should I do it like that or should I keep it how it's going right now? But, um, I think that is all I got for you guys. I'm actually off uh, the week of 4th of July. Got one fishing trip planned already, and I'm going to probably be doing a bunch of other fishing trips as well. So I'm super excited to get those videos uh, recorded, and uh, hopefully we'll get on some. We're going out to Lake Curtis in Stafford, Virginia. Um, that lake is a lot of trees and stumps and all that stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to hook into a big boy. I'm hoping and praying. I need to break my PB of five pounds, one ounce. So... Um, Sorry, one of the kids was uh, chasing each other. I thought they were about to get hurt and run into something. But um, yeah, I'm uh, going to be going out there. I'm probably going to be doing some catfishing. Uh, maybe try to go after some crappie or two. And I may, haven't decided yet, but I have not been on my kayak since my kayak accident. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, click that little card up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, the camera's backwards. I think it's going to be up here. Um, if you want to watch that video, I must warn you, it's a little graphic because uh, it's me uh, halfway uh, drowning. So um, I wanted to go ahead and warn you that uh, beforehand. But I think I want to go ahead and try to get back on the kayak, get back in the kayak fishing. So uh, y'all pray for me. I may try it out. Um, I want to see if I can find somebody to go out with me for the first couple times. Um, you know, so I get the hang of things because um, I will be honest with you guys. There are some times where I um, actually think about it and have a little uh, PTSD. And um, 
uh, there'd be like a water scene on the screen and somebody's like uh looks like they're about to drown and the the breathing starts picking up a little bit and like it starts shuddering but and you know it's not bad but i think if i get to, get out there on a kayak see that it's safe i think i'll be all right but let me stop jabbering and go ahead in this video here uh, i'm going to be posting the uh contest uh video for july tomorrow so make sure you look out for that if you also would please follow my social media account information it's at there at the bottom right hand corner of the screen uh would definitely appreciate that but that is all I got for you guys. I'm done jabbering, so I want to thank you very much for watching this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode. You can catch me outside doing what I love most, getting my dose with the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too.